Hello all, I will come here to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to uninstall your Android Studio from your Windows operating system. So in my previous videos I have showed you how to install Android Studio but probably you might have some reason to uninstall it. So in this video I am going to show you that entire process. So first thing is uh, if you have any Android Studio open, I mean up and running then into first you know close that application and once you have closed that then you need to go to your search and then into type control panel over here so it will show you this control panel so just simply open our control panel and here you need to click on this uninstaller program so that will open this list of all application that are installed so from here you need to choose your android studio and then you need to click on uninstall so it will ask you for administrative privileges click on yes and you can always close this so you can see it is you know shown the uninstalled window so you need to you know check this add user settings and then you need to click on next so click on uninstall and our uninstall process is rightly began right so let's wait for a couple of minutes and you can see that our uninstall of android studio is rightly done so you can always click on close now so only uninstalling our android studio like from the install program will not do all right it you need to delete some of the folders as well so you need to go to your c drive and you need to go inside your user directory and you will be able to see that we have all users so you need to go inside your user you should be getting your username instead of this name so you need to go inside that user and then you need to you know delete this dot gradle so select that and click on delete so let's delete our gradle so you can see that our Gradle is deleted now and next thing that you will be seeing is your Android Studio project. So if you go inside that project, you will be able to see all the projects that you have created over here. So you can always take a backup of this folder onto some other drive and then you can also delete this folder. So we'll select this and click on delete to delete this folder. So our folder is deleted now. All right. So after you know deleting these two, next thing that you need to do is you need to click on view and then you need to click on show and then you need to enable this hidden items so once you check this you'll be able to see our tick mark over here so you need to enable this hidden item and then you'll be able to see this app data over here so once you have that app data you need to go inside that app data so this app data is a hidden folder so that's what you need to do you need to enable that and once you enable you'll be able to inside your app data and then you need to go inside your local folder and here also you will be able to see a android folder right you need to select this and to click on delete so our android folder is ready deleted next thing that you need to delete is this kotlin compiled cache so select this and click on delete so it is deleted now now once you delete that then you need to go inside this google folder and here also you'll be able to see android studio lying over here so you need to select this and click on delete so that is also gone now now you go back to your app data and then you need to go inside your roaming folder and within roaming folder you'll be able to see this google folder again go inside that google folder and here also you'll be able to see android studio lying over here so again click on that delete button to remove that and there you go now you are successfully removed all the folders so you are now successfully able to uninstall android studio completely from your system so that's how we uninstall Android Studio from your system. So if these videos are really helping you, please do like, share and subscribe. That will really motivate me to make more such videos. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel Geeky Syntax. That will really motivate me to make more such videos. And also if you're interested, you can also subscribe our Geeky Script Vlogging channel. So that's basically all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.